when you bite into something that's sausage shaped, you <laughs> you're expecting a certain thing sometimes, aren't you? Yeah. Hello my loves, it's Tuesday night and the first night of a brand new meals vlog. As always, we've just uploaded one this evening which I'll link up there now should you fancy having a look back, you know, because some of this stuff is actually from last week, from the Greek feasts we had. However, tonight we've been to um, Tesco's and we've got these vegetable smosa vegan rolls from Higgedy for 85p and we've got a Walls vegan sausage roll for 31p I said to Jay I can build a meal around that I'm not daft um, so we're finishing off the couscous we've got a lovely bit of salad with Caesar style dressing on there it's dead basic spinach rocket tomatoes the last of the almond stuffed olives and some beautiful hummus uh, topped with um, chickpeas from Aldi that we didn't have last week little uh, was it little bit. we got that one? Oh, we did yeah. we did i'm sorry little hey my memory actually working for once i know isn't that good it's American. so it's a kind of yellow sticker dinner <clears throat> well it's based on yellow sticker bits and uh, and there you go the first night of our meals vlog we can you see how we jay just said we're transitioning to, towards summer now so things are starting getting quite salady we're in a weird limbo place because i don't think it's actually officially summer until i think it's this sunday if I'm not mistaken. It's don't, June. Don't quote me on that. End of June. Mm. Officially. We'll see. And there's no we'll see, no, Jason. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, you, you, you'll you see in your world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go. That's our dinner. This here, Tuesday <sighs> evening. And we're ravenous. It's a bit of a late one because we've just been down to allotment tending to our martyrs. Right. Bad of it's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Hello, you lovely person. And this is what I have for my Lunchtime Taste Test today. It is an Asda OMV sweet potato coconut curry. I have got a couple of slices of bread just to supplement it, uh, although I'm expecting it'll be nice. Clearly marked vegan, of course. Here's the nutritional information on the front. So, uh, actually, really quite healthy. Did I mention it was £1.50? And uh, looking at the back here, sorry it's a little bit dark, uh, but we have sweet potato and potato, carrots, butternut squash, green beans and red peppers and a fruity coconut sauce with lemongrass, red chilies, and lime leaf. So, as is always the case, let's get this microwaved and give you my honest opinion. So, this is what it looks like fresh out of the microwave. Let's dive in. Okay. <clears throat> So, it smells delightful, I have to say. Do you know what I mean when I say it smells like a sort of it authentic? It's got an authentic smell to it in terms of, uh, you know, what it's all about. So let's just dive in. Mmm. I've been really smart today. Put it to one side when it came out of the microwave and gave it Ooh, there's a little bit of heat there, surprisingly. That's great for me. Um, gave it a decent amount of time to cool down because it was piping hot coming out of the microwave. Now, what I've commented on before with this type of stuff is often it's lacking texturally. Um, this, however, has got a great texture. The peppers are fantastic. The potato's still got a little bit of bite to it. And it's really flavoursome. Oh wow. This is good. It's not got a ridiculous amount of heat, but obviously some of you will know my tolerance for spice is quite high. Um, so do be mindful of that um, if you are looking to get this from Asda for £1.50. Right. I'm not going to eat any more right this second because I've got some bread that I want to dip and have with this. And I've definitely had enough to form an honest opinion. It is great. Highly recommend it. 
for the price, you're getting something really nice and flavoursome here, without a shadow of a doubt. I think most people would enjoy it um, and think they were getting, you know, they were eating something decent. So, with that being said, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Taste, texture, value for money. Well done, Asta. You've smashed it out of the park. And uh, what else I've had in the OMV range has also been very good. So, um, I will keep checking on uh, anything new that's coming in the OMV range at Asda and obviously always on the lookout for other new stuff to try for lunchtime taste tests uh, to keep you informed about what's out there and what's worth trying. So yeah, 9 out of 10, nothing more to say. I'm going to shove this in my face, get on with my working day. Um, thanks as always for taking the time to check out the meals vlog and this lunchtime taste test. Uh, if you're enjoying the vlog, the video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. It does help us get the down to earth vegan message out there to more people. And uh, as always, take care of yourself and I will see you very soon. Hello my loves, it's Wednesday evening and we're trying um, the sausages we got from Lidl. They feel very strange, Jason. Are they vegetable sausages? Well, they feel very soft inside. Well, it doesn't say, it just says vegan sausages. Mm. Do you want to cut one open? We'll have a look. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering <laughs> about the green mash, it's my whole, own homemade coriander pesto. Are they falafel-like? Yeah, they look like falafel sausages, don't they? Hmm. They smell like falafel sausages as well, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll be quite nice, actually. So we're having sausages, pesto mash... So it's just mashed potato with coriander pesto in it, a fried tomato and some garden peas. I've brought some Cholula in, just in case. A couple of slices of bread and butter. Should I just try a bit? Yeah. Tell us, it is it like falafel? Kinda. Yeah. Oh, you don't look best pleased, Bronwyn. You know what it is, is because when you bite into something that's sausage shaped, you <laughs> you're expecting a certain thing sometimes, aren't you? Yeah. Very soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that when I took them out of the air fryer. Not a lot of texture. <clears throat> <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, and I say this rarely, I'm not a massive fan. No. I'll eat them. They're all right, but you know. Well, there you go. Or, well, I have to have a test now. Try it, yeah, because it's. Um, you might like them. I don't know. They're quite flavoursome. Look at it. <laughs> they are quite flavoursome. I'll give them that. Oh, I'm glad I brought the hot sauce in. They need it. Mm -hmm. Don't they? Well, I think there's a there's flavour there, but texturally, there's just nothing. It's no just mush. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, you know. But these are littles like their own. Their own, own dad, yeah. Vegan stuff. Uh, so. Wouldn't buy again, <clears throat> to be honest with you. We'll eat them and enjoy them now. Yeah. But wouldn't buy again. But the Greek stuff, brilliant. Amazing. Um, yeah, I'll link my coriander pesto recipe up there because it goes great in pasta, whether it be hot or cold pasta, and fantastic in mashed potato. It's gorgeous on toast or by the bloody spoonful, Brenda, <laughs> from the bowl. Pesto mash, mediocre vegan sausages from Lidl, fried tomato and peas. It's Wednesday's what for dinner, darling? Balloves! You filthy, dirty bastards. You filthy gits. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Hey, everybody, it's Thursday! <laughs> and we're ever so pleased because we've got a long weekend coming up. We're not back in work now till next Wednesday. Um, this is another of those uh, meals that's built around one thing. So we had two muffins left and I wanted to use them up. Yes. So I thought, right, I'm going to make a burger. So I've done a Linda McCartney quarter pounder with uh, mustard, mayo, rocket, tomato, fried onion. I've done... A few no mozzarella sticks. I've made a little, I call this a salslaw because it's neither a salsa or a coleslaw. It's um, tomato, onion, olive, and radish with a little bit of vinegar and a bit of chili mayo. Nice. And some oven chips. Oh, and a little bit of Cholula. 
Some people, Her name is Jalula. Some people have probably realised that when you're telling the people about the food, mm -hmm. sometimes you're also telling me yes. about the food. Yes. <laughs> and how do you feel? I uh, feel good. This is kind of like an end of our week meal, yes. sort of, isn't it? Yeah. And a nice glass of wine. Oh, yeah. Water. Very much look forward to that. And after Jason's uh, finished listening to Polyphia playing God again, we're going to watch another episode of Picard. We are. Am I right? I'm not wrong. God can give you the cardboard, but it's up to you to save up for the Stanley knife. Victoria would quote there for you, for any, uh, any fans out there. So, yeah, burger... Sticks, chips, and salslaw. It's what's for dinner on Thursday night, my loves. And I'm going to eat it right now. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's uh, Friday night. Yes, it's Friday. Let's look at Jason then. <laughs> We're having the last of the uh, the plant chef no meat pies. You get a box of four. Uh, they're quite lovely, actually. And Jay's going to do you the usual courtesy of cutting his open. So you can have a look inside. I'd like to cut mine open as well before I get um, saladed. That is what they look like inside. They're quite lovely. Mm. And tonight we're just having pie and salad. This here beautiful salad. Mixed leaves. Uh, spinach rocket. Red onion. Grated tomato. Chopped cherry tomatoes and olives. Grated tomato or grated carrot? Grated carrot. Ah. Finely grated carrot. As I as I do the shooting of the salad, I like to know what's in the salad. Yes, of course. Okay. And it's dressed very simply with extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Delightful. Are we ready, everyone? Let's do it, Jason. It's the... Oh, I've started off a bit high there. <laughs> shooting of the salad. It's shit That was almost a choir boy. There we go. Well, you have been a choir boy, dear. Oh. Nice. Lovely. Right, I'll load you up. Okay. As is often the case. Oh, oh no. There we go. Oh no. What's up? <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm being dramatic. I'm simply being dramatic, my darling. Can I do that? A one handed chop? Kind of. It kind of worked. Well done. Just, you know. So I, can... I mean, there looks like there's a lot of salad there, but actually, we've loaded both our plates up. There's not that much. Left no, there's there, not. Really. There's not huge. We'll finish on your plate because it looks far better than mine. There we go, my darlings. Pie and salad, and a bit of bread and butter. Friday night's TVG dinner. Balloves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday night. Hope you enjoyed those segments from uh, our lovely um, upcoming vlog of the Queen Inn, which you'll, if you're watching this on Tuesday, the day it's uploaded, that goes up tomorrow. Um, and it's a cracker, so do watch it. This is a random one. This is one of them um, blue dragon packs of noodles that I got from Heron ages ago that come with a sauce pack. Um, and I ended up throwing the noodles down the toilet and using the pack of rice noodles we had on the side there because the, it, it says add refreshed noodles to the pan. So I soaked them in boiling water for ages and they stayed as one solid clump. Right. And I thought, I'm not having that. <laughs> These are the bao buns that I got from uh, Lidl. Uh, they were in the freezer. When it's gone, it's gone. And this is just uh, soft tofu, noodles, edamame, some spinach and uh, the sauce that comes with the pack and some um, peanut peanut butter as well. And I've done a dipping sauce for the bow buns because I didn't know, you know, 
how dry do you want to try one of the bio buns yeah I mean, they, look gla- they look classic don't they I mean obviously what I'll probably do is shove some of that in there but I'm just gonna try a little hmm mm, they're lovely and soft <laughs> slightly sweet a little bit savoury but there's a definite sweetness to them I thought they would have had something in them well, I guess they're just little pockets, aren't they, for you to do with as you please? Well, I shall shove my noodles right in there and dunk it in there. That's yeah. what I'll do, like a filth master. But considering they were frozen, mm-hmm. they, the texture's really nice. Yeah. They're not, like, slimy or anything like that. They're like a proper bao bun. Cool. There mm. you go. Bao buns, noodles, tofu, spinach and edamame. It's what's for dinner on Sunday night. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves, it's Monday night again, and the final night, of course, of this particular meals vlog. Uh, and after last night's random oriental creation, <laughs> uh, we're having pesto pasta. It's wholemeal penne, which I've uh, cooked with a chopped courgette and some frozen peas. And uh, whacked a load of the coriander pesto I made. Coriander pesto I made earlier in the week, as we had in mashed potato, with a very simple salad: uh, just some mixed leaves, chopped onion, chopped tomato, and pimento stuffed olives. It's going to be it's a, a nice summery day today, so it's the perfect kind of meal for a nice summery day. Anything to end this one with, Bromers? I'd say ample pasta for me because I'm a pasta fiend, Mm -hmm. which is always nice. Uh, It's been delightful. We're lucky enough to have another day off tomorrow. We are. Which is nice. So I think tomorrow will be a bit of editing and a bit of chill time. Um, But hope you've enjoyed the meals vlog. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it and you've got some ideas from it. As always, pesto pasta and a lovely salad is how we're ending this one. And we hope to see you, of course, on the next one. Bye, loves.